Welcome back to the Retire Young Radio Show. I am your host, Josh of David, having a great time in studio with my great friend, my great pal, and the mastermind of this operation, Mr. Al Connickson. If you're just tuning in, Al was shedding some light on how the smart money is creating income with multiple assets. They're not just using the stock market. They're using the options market, the futures market, and the forex market. Why? Because they are open 24 hours a day, also available to us. But they also have that great leverage, which is also available to us. And I want to continue this discussion, Al, on leverage in retirement, right? Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of investors and traders that, I guess, people out there that, you know, either have a 401k, have an IRA, and just don't know what to do with it. They're planning for retirement. Maybe they're 20, uh, 10, 20 years out, or they are retired and they want to have more confidence in retirement. So let's talk about some different techniques and strategies that we can use with our own IRAs and 401ks. Yeah. You know, we started out in that last segment talking about, uh, you know, income and, and wealth, you know, kind of the shorter term. Uh, uh, we, we talked in that last segment, you know, about the shorter term and how to, uh, to properly address that part of your financial world. You're using these shorter term assets like futures and Forex and, and options. Those can also be used in your retirement accounts because when you go into retirement, what happens? You you have been relying on something for maybe 20 or 30 years to to pay your bills, to have a little bit of fun. It's called your your income from your job. And that goes away when you retire. So here here's some of the questions that people really should ask when they go into retirement. What are you going to do for income, for, for the cash that you need for immediate uh, uh, needs right now? Because when you're in retirement, you still have to have say, a place to live. You still have to eat food. Uh, there, There's a cost to being alive. There and, is. And uh, when your job is gone, you know, that's a big part of what you have relied on before. Now you may have to rely on what you have worked those years for and put into your retirement or your savings account. You know, and, and one of the reasons that it's so important to, to we feel anyways, to, you, to learn these shorter-term trading assets like futures, forex, or options is that when you're working – in order to kind of fill that wealth bucket, that retirement bucket, that has to come from leftover money from the income that you have coming in. If your job isn't providing enough for you to you know, pay the bills you have now, to have a little bit of fun, and then to have some leftover to put into a retirement account, what do you do? Well, a lot of people are looking at maybe a second job or third job or working overtime or you know, buying lottery tickets. Hey, that's but, a great strategy, isn't uh, it? That's I, I thought I saw you in line at the convenience <laughs> store the other day, uh, buying some tickets. But uh, some people look at the at the financial markets as as maybe a way of of addressing that issue. Basically, what and, you're what Alice saying here is there's multiple avenues people can go. So correct. you have to make that choice. Which one is best for you? Exactly. And and the people that come to the online trading academy are looking at the financial markets as maybe a choice. You know, and that the key really is to come in and find out whether this is the right thing for you to do or not. And that's one of the goals of these classes that that uh, Josh has been talking about. Just come in kind of dip your toes in the water so to speak and and see if if maybe the financial markets will help you achieve some of the goals that you're looking at achieving. Maybe not. For some people, it's not. But in, you also mentioned a couple of things uh, in that last segment, Josh. You mentioned, you talked about a price charts, reading a price chart. Mm-hmm. And that really is important. I think most people probably have had an x-ray at some point in time in their life, or they certainly know what an x-ray looks like. When you have an x-ray, they don't just slide the film over to you and say, here, you figure out what is wrong. Because there are things on that x-ray chart that you need training to be able to identify. It goes to a radiologist who's gone through training. We do that with our students. We teach them how to read a price chart very much like a radiologist would read a, an x-ray. There are things on those price charts that really all you need is, is right there on a price chart. Uh, with our strategy, with our core strategy, we're going to show you on a price chart where a proper entry or exit point might be. Uh, so it's it's really important to be able to do that properly, and again, that's part of the education that we have. And then also, uh, I mentioned the the need to have something to fill that retirement bucket with your your wealth bucket, and that can come from for some students that want to look at the the financial markets, it can come from those short term trading vehicles. Yeah, you just have to ha- see that there's more opportunities, there's more options out there, and there's choices that you have, and if these choices that you make 
they're, they're choices that you make. I mean, hopefully we can inspire you to explore these different avenues, but these choices are yours. And that's the great thing about life is you have choices. And now when these, you teach these investing classes, you really help people become more comfortable getting into the market. So some of these people do have 401ks. Some people don't. Some people are looking to build. Some people are looking to protect. It doesn't matter what you're looking to do with your retirement. Al, I just got to re-comment on this. I and mean, you mentioned the, the x-ray and the doctor doesn't just slide over the chart and say, here you go, figure it out, right? Correct. Unfortunately, and nothing against the people, it's the industry. That's exactly what brokers and advisors are doing to their clients. They're saying, Correct. here's what you have. You make the choices. Pay me to make these choices for you and then hope that you get to where you want to be. Right. Well, think about it. Why would they not want you to be able to kind of read that chart? Why would they not want you to be able to time entry and exit positions? They well, want to they want to manage the money. Of course. And you, there's you fees don't that come need, along with that. It, yeah, exactly. You don't need them if you can do this on your own. And when you think about it, if a financial advisor has 200, 300, 400 clients, how much time can they really devote to you individually? And wouldn't the best way for a financial advisor to handle your assets, wouldn't it be to put a portfolio together that is specific to you and then have the ability for that financial advisor to manage the, the risk portion of it and maybe the transfer of assets from one index or one sector to another when one is underperforming and one is, is outperforming? Well, with two or 300 clients, you can't do that. The time just is not there. It's much easier for them to put you into, we call it a buy and hold strategy, but for most people, it's buy and forget, buy and hope, buy and pray, any, any one or a combination of, of those things. And it's basically, a, you know, you put your money into a portfolio and you hold on to it for a number of years, 10, 20, 30 years, but they're collecting fees this whole time for really uh, of almost a hands-off kind of a management uh, program. So you can, as an individual investor, you have access to not only the education, but to the tools, the trading platforms that will allow you to to get you know get more hands on, manage the assets that you have, make sure that you're maximizing the value of what you have. Because at some point in your time, in time in your life, when you go into that retirement phase, you may have to rely on whatever that chunk of money is that left that you've worked for. If not, if you're not controlling and maximizing the value of your retirement money, the only thing that might be available for you is Social Security or maybe moving in with your kids. So, you know, here's some advice. Don't don't upset your kids. <laughs> uh, you know, you may show up on, the, on their doorstep with a suitcase at some point in time. But the one thing you have control over is your retirement accounts, your savings accounts. Most people are in a 401k and they might be thinking, well, I don't really have that much uh, control over that. There, there's few choices in there. But one thing we can help you with is to identify what the right choices might be at the right time. At least have an understanding of what you have access to. And if the timing mechanism, our core strategy can be used for stock and futures and forex and options trades, it can be used also to get a better idea of which of your mutual funds might be doing better or might be heading into a point where you might want to rotate out of them into something else. It's all part of what we call dynamic 401k management. Yeah, you're you know, you're mentioned the you know, people just uh they don't know what those choices are, if they can do anything in the four oh one K. One thing I learned from my dad is you'll never know unless you ask. But here's the thing, I was actually reading a uh a uh, an article from uh, Market Watch this weekend and it was talking about uh, an advisor and a, and, a, and a woman that, you know, her husband had passed. And she said, you know, this person was such, they were nice as can be. I put 100% trust in them. She always remembers my birthday, asked me about my kids and grads, grandkids. And that's the reason why she put her trust in her. And what was happening in this article is they were actually charging her double in fees. Well, if you don't have more uh, input in your retirement, who knows where that's going? Al, coming up next, I want to continue this discussion about retirement and because uh, we have a lot of people that are just unsure with what to do with their retirement accounts or if to even handle them. So coming up, more investing on retirements, but also how to have a plan. This is Josh and Al with the Retire Young Radio Show. We'll be right back. <laughs> 